We need to find five romantic comedies. <laughs> All right, Ray, we got you. We got you. Hey guys, come and join us at twitch.tv slash team bash. We stream 18 plus hours a day and we're the most active Save the World streamers on the planet. So come and join us and be a part of the team. Okay, so we're going to go to... Yeah, we're probably going to go back to the city again. Okay, so we are going to... We're collecting rom-coms for Ray here. Uh, we need to find five of them. And we found five on the map. Easy. All you have to do is locate them. And once you locate them, they stay on the map for, uh, for you to collect. Easy peasy. So just do a sweep around the city. We went and did a city map and found them. First try, super, super, no problem at all. So let's, uh, let's grab these and see what happens. Shout it out! A rebel teen blares romantic music into his crush's window to prove his devotion. That's so romantic. I love when dudes communicate by making weird eye contact and playing very important indie rock songs at me. <sighs> I guess if I'm gonna be alone, I might as well be bitter. <laughs> Good job, Ray. Good job. Whoever smelt it. When a big box perfume shop opens, Sally's boutique perfumery is left drifting in the wind. Nope, not feeling it. Really? Well, I think it's so romantic when a small business owner falls in love with the son of a large business owner. Why is that romantic? Well, if you don't get it, you don't get it. Meet cute. One butcher and one adorably clumsy farmer order up a pound of love. Yo, Dennis, is meat cute any good? Well, it's rife with beefy inaccuracies, but it's the second best meat-based love story ever filmed. All right. Don't you want to know what the best meat-based love story ever filmed is? Dennis, I'm dead inside. It'll be wasted on me. Well, according to the Plankerton Film Institute, it's Citizen Carne. But in my heart, nothing beats the gritty cop-on-cop -cop romantics of Stakeout. Okay, goodbye, Dennis. Harry McIntyre. Football brought them together, but love isn't a game. Yeah, I bet Daphne quits her job to follow Perry when he starts his own company with no plan. And her only lines are like, you can do it, and show him why you're the man I married. Yeah, this isn't helping. I may be beyond the reach of romantic comedy. <laughs> Love potion. Oh, that could be something. Residents of a small town are driven wild when a mysterious stranger adds a powerful love potion to the town's water supply. Hold on, wait. Love potion two? The love potion strikes again and now the town's fate depends upon one plucky robot! Today oh no! Check out the summary of love potion three! The lone survivor of Love Potion 1 and Love Potion 2 struggles to survive a romance-ravaged, lusty landscape. D don't worry, it's just a movie. No, it's a documentary! No! Oh, wait, no, it's just miscategorized. But it's inspired by a true story. How inspired? Loosely. Then there's still hope. So if you like this video, uh, come check us out on Twitch. Uh, we, we Twitch stream 15 to 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every single morning starting at 9 a.m. Uh, we'd really appreciate the support. Uh, we're working really hard to uh, grow the Twitch channel. So come and check us out. Come, uh, come help us grow and be part of Team Dash. Thanks, guys.